At MIT, I co-direct the Center for Extreme Bionics with my colleague Edward Boyden. Uh, at the center, we are advancing bionics, um, electromechanics linked to the human nervous system that extend physicality, cognition, emotional experience. Uh, so it's a very broad agenda across uh, human augmentation. For technology that offers uh, normalization and assistance for a person that has some form of pathology, for example, in their, in their limb, maybe amputation or paralysis. Um, in addition, uh, actual augmentation beyond innate physiological levels uh, for, for everyone. Uh, so we, for example, recently we built an exoskeleton that augments human bipedalism in terms of energetics and speed. We are gearing up to do a, um, uh, a, a bionic limb where there's uh, a mechanical uh, integration into the bone and also a neuroelectrical integration into the nervous system. So we're going to be place, uh, inserting a titanium shaft through the skin membrane into the femur for a person that um, has an amputation above the knee. And we're running wires through that shaft from, from nerves inside the body out to a bionic limb. And we can actually close the loop between the bionic limb uh, and the human nervous system where the person can think and control the synthetic motors on the limb, and they can also feel the bionic limb moving as, as if it's part of their own body. We recently got FDA approval, so we'll be launching the initiative this year. Typically what's used uh, by folks around the world is a, uh, a non-invasive socket, uh, a cup, if you will, that goes around the residuum on the outside, where body weight is loaded through the soft tissues. Um, this procedure, the load is going directly to, to the bone, to the skeleton. Um, so it's, if you will, it's more natural. Also, most limbs are not neurally controlled. They can be controlled by the brain and very, 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 very few prostheses can be felt by the user where synthetic computation is actually inputting information into the nervous system so the person can feel their joints moving or feel pressure. We are reflecting uh, proprioception like signals from the prosthesis into the nervous system. So proprioception uh, relates to the position of the robotic joint uh, and its speed and how much load is on it. So we have a, a really interesting model where we can reflect that sensory information onto the nervous system. So when the bionic joint moves, it, you, one gets the same feeling as if they, the joint was, was made of flesh and bone.